Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to my channel, the Simple Pay Studio. And here in this video, we'll talk about uh, the maths from the first chapter, that is from the substitution chapter, from the book Nova Math Bible Guide. And in the earlier video, we talked about the easy and medium problems. So here in this video, we'll go through the hard problems from the first chapter. So let's just get it started. So here, uh, the first math we have here from the hard section is the number four. And it says like the remainder and the positive integer m is divided by n is r. And what should be the remainder when 2m is divided by 2 twice m? So let's assume that when we m, we divide m with n, then the remainder is r, but the dividend is, suppose the dividend is x. So from there, we can write the equation that m is equal to x times n plus r, right? Now, if I try to multiply this equation with two, we can have twice m equals to twice n, sorry, twice n multiplied by x plus twice r. So now from here, we know that when we divide twice m with twice n, we can have a reminder such as twice r. So the answer for the number four math should be d. Now, if we look to the number five method or math, we have, uh, we are given that the value of p is greater than one and less than three. So now from the uh, first option here, here we have p squared is less than twice p or p is less than two. For the second part, we have p is equals to two. For the third part, we have p is greater than two. So all these three values we have here, satisfy the equation we are given, right? So all of these three possible options can be true. So the answer here for the five, no, for math number five should be E. Now in the next method, we are given that 42.42 is equals to K multiplied by 14 plus M divided by 50. Now here we have to figure out the value for m, k and m, and then we have to figure out the value for k plus m. So we know that for the 14, if we multiply it by three, then it should give me around, uh, it should give me 42. So let's just try to simplify it, like 42, point 42 should be equal to three multiplied by 14 plus m by 15, 50. So now from the first term, we have three multiplied by 14, that will equals to 42. Then the rest of the part, we should be having in such a way that it is equals to 0 0.42 or 0 0.42. So here we have found like the value of K would probably be three. Now let's try to find out the value for the M. So for the rest of part, we have 0 0.42 is equals to three, multiplied by the second term over here. Three multiplied by M by 50, right? So now we can see that the value of three M divided by 50 is equals to 0.42 or the value of thrice M should be equals to 0.42 multiplied by 50. If we multiply, if we multiply by 0.42 by Hundreds, it gives me 42. So if we multiply it by 50, it will give, give us 21. So the value of M should be equals to 21 by three, which is equals to seven. So we have the value for K, we have the value for M. Now we know that the value for K plus M should be equals to three plus seven, which is equals to 10. So the answer for the number six method uh, math should be called, uh, should be the option E. Now let's move on to the final math. Here we have, uh, we, here we are given that P and Q, Q are both positive integers such that P divided by nine plus Q divided by 10 should be an integer. So it then asks us like which of 
which one of the following would be the value of p now we know that here we are dividing it by 9 if we have the value for p equals to 3 then this would be like 3 by 9 plus q by 10 and we know that this will give us a fraction like 0 0.33 and we uh, since q is also a positive integer we are not going to have a q value in such a way that this total sum from the p by 9 plus q by 10 wouldn't be an integer. But here we see that uh, there are options that is more related to nine, the nine we have in the denominator of the first term. So we have nine here. So if we choose the value of P as nine, then our equation should be something like this. Nine divided by nine, plus q by 10. Now we can have uh, the value of q such as any positive integers like 10 or 20 or 30 so that this value becomes an integer. So as a result, we can see that if we choose the value of p as nine, it will satisfy the requirement from the question. So the answer for the number seven math would be the option C. And with that, we conclude this chapter and the hard categories. Thank you.